Okay, dear students, let us see how are we going to this question. A particle oscillates with simple harmonic motion with the time period capital T. Which graph shows the variation of time of with time of the kinetic energy of the particle? So we want to comment on the kinetic energy of the particle undergoing the simple harmonic motion, and we have to see now. So uh, in IB books generally, what they do is they start their their SHM. The simple harmonic motion is started from the extreme position. So at t is equal to zero, the body is at extreme position. This is generally what they do. And they take at this x displacement as x is equal to cos omega t and they start at the extreme position. But the problem is that at t is equal to zero, if your position is at the extreme position, the velocity should be zero because it is at extreme position. Now if the velocity is zero, the kinetic energy has to be zero. But now, if we are going for A, B, C, D, all these four options now, do you see this thing that at T is equal to zero, kinetic energy is not zero in any of the options? Ironic, isn't it? Now, is this possible? Yes, it is possible. It's not wrong. Why? Because many a times now I have told you that for the displacement, you can also take sine omega T. So these are two different equations that we can use. Sine omega T is used when the particle starts its motion from the mean position and cos will be taken when the particle will start its position from the extreme position. So one thing is very clear to us. Okay. Now, obviously these graphs are now related with x is equal to x naught sine omega t. So the thing that we want to clarify or confirm is this thing that let us talk in the terms of spring mass system. So the motion starts from the mean position. It goes to this extreme and then it goes to the other extreme and then it comes back to the mean position. So now we want to comment about the kinetic energy. So let us see. Okay, to start with, at the mean position, the velocity will be maximum. So kinetic energy will be maximum. So the kinetic energy will be maximum. It will be like this. It's all right. And then it goes to the extreme position, kinetic energy becomes zero. So if this is the total time period, this is the midpoint that is half, but we are not talking about the one fourth. So at one fourth, this should come out to be equal to zero. And it is coming only and only in the option D, first of all. So option D will be the answer for it. Now let us move next. If the kinetic energy has become zero here, it further moves to mean position. Kinetic energy becomes maximum after half wavelength. And that is it. After half time period, like in T by two, kinetic energy is once again maximum. Now, later it moves to extreme position. The velocity becomes zero. And then again, the kinetic energy becomes maximum at the mean position again. So the body has reached the mean position. So this is how we imagine this. There are many other methods also to do this. Like for example, if this is the displacement, the velocity will be given by x naught omega cos omega t. Now this formula is given in the data booklet in the topic 9.1. You can see it and you can refer. From here you can see that the velocity is a variable of cos. So how will be the kinetic energy varying? Kinetic energy will be directly proportional to cos square omega t or you can uh, write it as cos omega t whole square. Yes, only the same thing though. So it becomes the square of cos. So there will be no negative values. Like this graph pertains to the cos variation. But if you square it, what would you be getting? One square will be one, but zero square will be zero. Minus one square will be one. So this point will go up and the graph will come up like this graph. Got it? So this is uh, how we imagine it. This is how we do this question. Otherwise also you can say that the kinetic energy, the frequency is double. So you can see if in the one oscillation, like from zero to T, this is one oscillation from displacement point of view, but from kinetic energy point of view, these are two different oscillations. You see one, two. For energies, the frequency is double. So anyways, and the energy is never negative. So by using that argument also, we reach the same conclusion that the answer is D. So let us uh, first verify the answer. And yes, according to the mark scheme, the answer is D. My dear students, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share the YouTube channel with all your friends. All the best.